Intro. Hey there, postal retirees. Today I'm breaking down the crucial Medicare changes coming in 2025 and how they'll impact you. Let's dive in. This guide is all about helping you navigate the upcoming health insurance changes. I'll cover mandatory Medicare enrollment, the new Postal Service Health Benefits Program, and your options for additional Medicare plans. Plus, I'll highlight key deadlines to ensure your coverage remains smooth. Starting in 2025, all postal retirees and their eligible dependents turning 65 must enroll in Medicare Parts A and B. Why is this important? Because Medicare will become your primary insurance, reducing overall healthcare costs by coordinating with the PSHB program. Missing out on this could lead to coverage gaps or higher out-of-pocket expenses. Next up, let's talk about the PSHB program. This new program is replacing the old Federal Employees Health Benefits Plans. PSHB will automatically coordinate with Medicare Parts A and B, significantly lowering or eliminating co-payments, deductibles, and other out-of-pocket expenses. It's designed to work seamlessly with Medicare to provide full coverage at minimal cost. Now let's break down Medicare Parts A and B. Medicare Part A covers inpatient hospital stays, skilled nursing facility care, hospice, and certain home health services. For most retirees, Part A is premium-free if you or your spouse paid Medicare taxes for a sufficient period. But keep in mind, Part A does not cover long-term care or custodial services. Medicare Part B covers outpatient services like doctor visits, preventive services, lab tests, mental health services, and durable medical equipment. Part B requires a monthly premium, which varies based on your income. While PSHB may cover most out-of-pocket costs, it's still important to be aware of co-payments and co-insurance amounts under Part B. Let's compare PSHB with Medicare Advantage and Medigap plans. PSHB plans are tailored for postal retirees, covering the majority of what Medicare doesn't, thus minimizing out-of-pocket expenses. Choosing PSHB means you avoid the hassle of selecting additional Medicare plans and benefit from straightforward integration with Medicare Parts A and B. Medicare Advantage plans are private health plans offering Medicare-covered benefits plus extras like dental, vision, and fitness programs. They often have lower premiums but may have restricted provider networks. If you prefer extra benefits, make sure your providers accept the plan in your area. Medigap plans cover certain costs not paid by Medicare, like deductibles and co-payments. However, they don't cover additional services like vision or dental care. Medigap is ideal for those who want predictable out-of-pocket costs, but don't need extra services. Here's how to enroll and the key deadlines to keep in mind. First, enroll in Medicare Parts A and B through the Social Security Administration, either online, by phone, or in person. Next, choose your PSHB plan during the annual open season, which starts this fall. Your PSHB plan will coordinate with Medicare from January 1, 2025. If PSHB doesn't meet your needs, consider a Medicare Advantage or Medigap plan. Key deadlines to remember. The initial enrollment period for Medicare begins three months before your 65th birthday and ends three months after. Missing this could lead to penalties. Open season for PSHB typically runs from mid-November to mid-December, and there's a special enrollment period for certain life changes like losing employer-sponsored insurance. Got questions? If you're already enrolled in Medicare, you're good to go. Just make sure your PSHB plan is selected during open season. If your spouse is eligible and turning 65, they must also enroll in Medicare Parts A and B to remain covered under the PSHB plan. PSHB and Medicare will work together, with Medicare covering primary expenses and PSHB handling secondary costs, greatly reducing what you pay out of pocket. For more information, visit postofficemedicare.com. Our website provides downloadable resources, detailed explanations, and guidance for postal retirees. It's a self-enrollment site where you can enter your zip code, doctor's name, and prescriptions to find the right Medicare plan in your area. Plus, our 24-7s chatbot is always available to answer your questions. You can also text us at 845-380-5809. Thanks for watching and stay informed.